Did you know that there is a hidden language that can allow you to tell your cat how much you love them? In this video we'll decipher this language and reveal simple and powerful ways that you can say I love you to your cat. The secret is very subtle wrapped in the elegant body language and the silent cues that cats use to communicate with each other. And for more secrets about your kitty, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. Now let's dive right in. Number 8. Slow Blink Ever noticed how your cat sometimes slowly blinks at you? This isn't just a random behavior, it's actually your cat expressing affection and trust. This unique interaction is so well recognized among feline enthusiasts that it's often called a cat kiss. So why is a slow blink a sign of love? According to the veterinarians this behavior is linked to the cat's predatory nature. In the wild cats are both predators and prey. For a cat closing their eyes in the presence of another animal is a sign of ultimate trust because it's a vulnerable action. By slow blinking they're telling you that they trust you enough to relax in your presence. And when you return this blank you're communicating the same sense of trust and affection. So how do you slow blank at your cat? Look back at them and slowly close your eyes hold for a second and then open them. This slow blink mimics their own behavior and sends a clear message that you feel the same trust and affection. But remember cats are very intuitive about body language so ensure your blank is relaxed and not too forceful. Watch the reaction if they return your slow blink you'll know your message has been understood. Number 7. Respect their space. The cat way. We all know that cats value their personal space and they're not afraid to demand it. But let's dig a little deeper into this concept. It's more than just giving them a space to relax. It's about observing their behaviors and reactions. Understanding their individual personalities and acting accordingly. For instance some cats may not like being picked up while others may enjoy it. Recognize this preference and act accordingly. If your cat wriggles or tries to escape, when you pick them up that's a clear sign that they prefer to keep their paws on the ground. And if that's the case show them your love by respecting this preference. Now let's think about when your cat is sleeping or grooming themselves. These are moments when they're focused on themselves so it's a good idea to let them be. Even if you're tempted to pet them or play with them hold back. Let them enjoy their personal time without any disruptions. Studies show that when their personal space is violated cats can become stressed. They might start acting out or worse it can lead to various health issues. Number 6. Tail Language A cat's tail is way more than just a cute fluffy appendage. It's a primary communication tool a veritable language in itself. Did you know that a cat's tail has about 20 muscles that can be independently moved? According to research by animal behaviorists these specialized muscles in their tails along with their central nervous system allow cats to move their tails in complex combinations and at varying speeds each with a different meaning whether it's fear excitement aggression or happiness every emotion has a corresponding tail movement it's like your cat's personal billboard advertising exactly what they're feeling at any given moment when your cat struts into the room with the tail held high and a little quiver at the tip that's their version of a big beaming smile so what's so happy about a quivering tail in the wild cats use body language as a way to communicate without making a sound which could attract predators or scare away prey. A raised tail is a universal sign of friendliness in the world of cats. It's a signal that says I come in peace, no need to get defensive. But what about the quiver? That's like the cherry on top. The quiver or shake at the end of the tail is a clear sign of excitement and positive energy. It's a bit like when we are getting goosebumps when we hear our favorite song or see a loved one after a long time. It's an involuntary reaction to a rush of positive emotion. So when your cat greets you with a raised quivering tail they're not just acknowledging your presence there, expressing joy and excitement. And here's the thing cats don't just do this for anyone. They save the special tail quiver only for the people they truly trust. 5 Interactive Play For our feeling friends play is not just fun it's a crucial part of their lives. But here's the best part playing with your cat isn't just great for their Health it's also a fantastic way for you to bond. When you engage in interactive play with your cat you're stepping into their world. You're participating in activities that are deeply important to them. This helps build mutual understanding and trust. Your cat sees that you're interested in their hobbies which strengthens their bond with you. Research has shown that playtime can stimulate the release of oxytocin in animals. 
Oxytocin often called the love hormone, plays a critical role in social bonding in many species including humans and cats. In a 2019 study by Oregon State University scientists found that cats form attachments to their owners that are strikingly similar to the bonds human children form with their parents. And one of the key ways these bonds are formed and reinforced. You guessed it playtime. By engaging in regular play sessions, you're not only providing your cat with mental and physical stimulation, you're also fostering an environment where the slow hormone can thrive. Number 4. Petting the cat way. Unlike dogs who often love a good scratch anywhere and anytime cats are more nuanced creatures. The art of petting a cat is one that requires understanding and respect for their preferences. It's not just about stroking their coat, it's about communicating love in a way that resonates with them. The secret is in focusing on the areas where their scent glands are concentrated. These scent glands are located around their cheeks chin and at the base of their tail. So when your cat rubs its face against your leg or furniture they're not just seeking physical contact but also marking their territory with their scent. When you pet your cat in these areas, you're helping them spread their scent, which cats find comforting and soothing. Start by gently stroking their cheeks, move to their chin and finally if your cat is comfortable glide your hand down to the base of their tail. Remember that every cat is an individual. While some might enjoy a pet at the base of the tail others may not. Always watch for your cat's reactions and adjust your petting accordingly. Also try to avoid over petting. Cats can become overstimulated if petted for too long which can lead to stress or even a sudden nip or scratch. So how do you know when your cat has had enough? Pay close attention to their body language. If your cat's tail starts to twitch it's time to give them some space, offering treats. Number 3. Cats associate food with affection. In the wild cats hunt for their food, it's a constant game of skill and survival so when you present them with a treat, it's like you've done the hunting for them you've put in the effort to provide for them they appreciate this on an instinctual level you've proven yourself a valuable ally in their eyes imagine coming home after a long day and finding your favorite dessert waiting for you it's the same for your cat every now and then surprise them with a special treat a savory piece of fish or a tiny chunk of cheese it's like saying i love you without uttering a word just keep in mind that while treats are great excess of anything can be harmful number two learn their language did you know that cats communicate in their own unique way using a variety of sounds that can tell us a lot about what they're feeling. Cats have an entire language made up of meows, purrs and even those adorable chirps when they spot a bird outside the window. Sound each tone carries a different message. So how can you understand this kitty dialect? It's all about paying attention and learning from experience. When your cat meows at you in a certain way try to notice what's going on. Are they hungry, excited, or maybe they're just saying hello. But it's not just meows, low rumbling purring might mean their content while high pitched purring could signal they want something. Responding to these sounds by giving them what they need or want is an excellent way to show them you understand and care. And here's something really interesting. From the world of science, research actually shows that cats have a unique solicitation part that they use exclusively to communicate with humans. Researchers believe that this purring has a frequency similar to a baby's cry which triggers our natural instinct to nurture and respond. When you hear this particular purr, it might be your cat asking for food, attention or just some general TLC. And now the last tip, let them sleep with you. When cats sleep that's when they're at, they're most vulnerable. So if your kitty decides to snuggle up next to you for a nap it's a big deal. But how do you encourage this? First off never force them. Cats value their personal space, especially when they're getting some shut eye. If your cat seems hesitant it's okay just let them be. But if they appear comfortable and start making themselves at home on your lap or next to you that's your green light. Allow them to sleep with you. It's a sign of mutual trust and affection a unique way of saying I love you too. And here's where it gets fascinating. According to research sharing sleep with your pet can actually help reduce stress and anxiety. Studies have found that the act of sleeping with your pet provides a sense of companionship and security which can promote better sleep for both you and your cat.